It is a new reality for Republicans after the closest Iowa caucus in history. And who would have guessed? In December, Rick Santorum was polling at 4%, but last night he virtually tied Mitt Romney for the win, losing by eight votes out of more than 122,000 cast. It was a record turnout. Michelle Bachman, who won the Iowa straw poll this summer, you, dropped out today after finishing sixth. Bachman. The ink was barely dry on the ballots when the candidates moved on to New Hampshire, where the primary is next Tuesday. A Suffolk University poll out today gives Romney a commanding lead in New Hampshire, 43% to Ron Paul's 14%. Newt Gingrich is third, Rick Santorum fifth. Our campaign 2012 team is in New Hampshire tonight, and we'll start with Jan Crawford on the Romney campaign. Jan? Well, Scott, Romney went into conservative Iowa, and his victory there was a remarkable turn of events for a candidate who had all but written off that state just a few months ago. My goodness, what a squeaker. But it sure is nice to have a win, I'll tell you. Romney won Iowa with a good strategy. Thank you, Iowa. For months, he had downplayed expectations. But after seeing competitors like Newt Gingrich fade and polls, including his own, indicating he could finish strong, last week Romney went all in. He toured the state with his wife, Ann, while he and other candidates and their super PACs blanketed the airways with tough ads aimed mainly at Gingrich. Newt has a ton of baggage. Romney won on the issues voters say they care about most. Among those who said beating Obama was most important, 48 percent voted for Romney, far above the other candidates. He also won voters who picked the economy as their top concern. He flew to New Hampshire today to keep his momentum going and to pick up the endorsement of Senator John McCain, his 2008 opponent. In that race, McCain complained about Romney's negative ads. We asked McCain about similar complaints this time from Gingrich. I think candidates always complain. You don't like to see that kind of thing. Unfortunately, it is what it is today, particularly with these outside, quote, super PACs. Now, Romney has the money and the organization for the long haul, but so far he has not been able to excite the conservative Republican base. Now, here in New Hampshire, where voters very much are in his favor, he's speaking right now at a packed town hall, that might not be a problem. But going forward to South Carolina and beyond, Scott, it could be. New Hampshire right next door to Romney's home state of Massachusetts. Jan, thank you very much.